Just another day in the bush. <laughs> uh, I've been prospecting with Gino and the lorry, Borg, uh, on Saturday. So Gino had to go back to Melbourne home. And the lorry Borg stayed with me yesterday. Then he went yesterday home. So I came back and uh, we couldn't find nothing on Inglewood. Uh, Gino found one little one, probably wouldn't register on a scale. Lori Borg didn't find nothing. Anyway, so I came back close to Carisbrook here near Maryborough and uh, I'm in uh, Havelock and uh, you know, I didn't find nothing. Yesterday I found one very hot rock. I thought it was a meteor for, for a you know, for time, but anyway, it wasn't. Today is the 24th of April, uh, it's Monday. I am not working today, I made a long weekend because we got Anzac Day tomorrow, so I'm uh, in a bush for another day. Anyway, I got a target here. A lot of people ask me how I use my metal detector. I use it, um, look, uh, in sensitive smooth, main tune, I use it on 35 or on zero. Uh, I'll go for the deep targets. Uh, my uh, artist gain is on uh, 12 at the moment and Peter Woodland's gain is I think almost on full. And uh, you know what, it punches deep, I tell you that. Anyway, I think I got target here. Well, as you know, so stable, uh, the stabilizer run on two. Uh, because stabilizer doesn't help, it only wobbles, uh, you know, a bit of a up and down. But uh, audio, I run it on 50, so it gives me a little bit louder target, not dull one. And, uh, you know, my all the other ones, uh, target volume and all of these sort of things are 8 or on 12. You know, I don't run them up that high because I find it not necessary, it just makes a lot more noise. Makes more noise as it is like this anyway. But look, uh, let's find out what this target is today. And uh, today is Monday morning. Uh, you know, I've just been prospecting around here for about oh, an hour running around this area. There's a bit of runoff from here, from this hill down here. And the courts, uh, a reef, uh, hit it through this area down behind my back. And uh, I don't know this, uh, you know, the target sounds good, but uh, you know, don't know, don't know what it is until we, you know, go through it. Uh, could be a bullet, uh, because around Maribara, you know, been a lot of shooting down and a lot of these hunting kangaroos and whatever. And, uh, you know, the, you, that's common to find it around here. At, uh, a lot of rubbish around Maribara, especially. Uh, you, you, okay, let's, let's have a look at this. Uh, let's cut the crap out. Okay. I've got a very loud signal here. As you can see, it's very clear target. But, um, and, uh, so, let's hope so it's something reasonably okay. I'll plow this ground a bit uh, because of this my new DTEC coil. You know, I find them great. You know, I can run my others going way up, which is not good find. I had to run it really low, but with this one, I can boost my others going up, and it gives me noisy a bit. But I'm not worried about that noisy. I'm only looking for them good target. You know what I mean, gold. <laughs> It's getting down to this yellowish clay, which could be good if the target wasn't isn't there, but anyway we'll find out.
A bloody good quail, I'll tell you that. I'm getting thirsty. I had a bacon and eggs for breakfast and a uh, ham and an uh, egg and a uh, toast <sighs> and some jam and a uh, tomato. So water comes good after that. I don't think bullet can be this far down because it's very hard clay but you never know. Now look at this bugger. Had a better thing to do than falling down. Sort of target is a little bit doubtful now. Ground chunches a bit, but You can see how a signal changes once you start digging down deeper. And I can't lie the coil properly. I'll dig it up a little bit wider. I'll keep quiet. I 
I'm about eight inches down. <laughs> hey, could be something. Oh, yeah. Had to quite in the metal detector a little bit down, but I'm a good foot down, and that coil is 15 inches deep, they're long, so it's a fairly deep target by looks of it. I hope so I don't have to go get a shovel.
I'm 15 inches deep, almost. It's a bullet. It was about 15 inches deep, definitely. <laughs> it's not a bullet. <laughs> oh, a mosquito scaring around by us. Yeah. It's a piece of gold. <laughs> it is a nice little nugget. I don't know, could be three, four grams by looks of it. So I was right, following that lead down there, it must have sheared off somehow from the lead and it landed for me, you know, in, like that in this area here. So could be some more down here, I don't know. But uh, I've just got to keep on prospecting now. Ah, oh, show you once more. Look like you got a bit of ironstone in it. Usual stuff in my pocket. <clears throat> I covered the whole purse, then I'll say, see you after. measure it somewhere to this black spot. An inch above it, about there, that's where it was. That height. Height 12. 14 inches. 15, definitely 15 inches deep. I forgot to check it.
You see, this goes mad. Great little coils, this detect. I can put my RS gains as far as I want it, and I still detect the targets. You all have a nice day. This is meant. Some in Australia prospecting, looking for yellow stuff. <laughs> I remember a guy used to wear, wore the hat like that in a Western movie. <laughs> I don't know which one is it, but anyway, you all take care of there. Bye for now. This is Matt. Bye.